I think the positive thing that will come out of this uh, is a massive push for clean energy. I mean, America, Britain um, should not be reliant on overseas countries for our energy. Hello, gents, ladies, gentlemen. Richard Branson here, and I'm going to do a little overview of some current history that's happening in the United States and around the world. Uh, right now I'm in uh, a new uh, area where Virgin has taken hold, which is the West Coast with our Virgin Atlantic in San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge uh, behind me here. And uh, we also have some stops down in Orange County. But besides all that, I know I've, everyone's been watching the BP story. That's the big deal right now. I mentioned months ago I did a lecture on I got you. I'm not really Richard Branson. I'm Bubba Branson. Bubba Branson's just Richard Branson's half brother lives in the United States, but I still have opinions of my own, and uh, I try to coexist with my brother's wealth and money by my creativity. But let's talk about more about what's going on. I have to help solve things because I'm Bubba Branson. Bubba Branson says, what is BP thinking? Who let this oil well leak? Is it just a coincidence? It had to be during the time when they were trying to establish uh, a new clean energy source. Well, nobody wanted to change because everybody loves oil. All of a sudden there's this dirty, oily leak and people are pushed to uh, stop the oil. We use 80% of the oil we import from the Middle East and other places outside of the United States, but we're the largest consumer in the world of it. So it won't happen in a day, a week, a month, a year. It's like a five, ten year transition plan. They can't let the thing leak for ten years. So I don't know the answer. They say the smartest scientists are on it, but if they can't plug a hole, I'm I'm working my way to the moon and to Mars. As you can see, uh, maybe Mars could be safer. It might be a nice new place to start, a new civilization, energy free. And we promise at Virgin not to drill boom, into Mars. We don't believe in upsetting nature. We'll fly over it and we'll go down to the depths of the sea, but we won't drill anything just passengers and entertainment and enjoyment and uh, it will make a few revolutionary scientific kind of things on the way but uh, I don't want to speak too much about what my brother is doing because I'm not there every moment to supervise nor am I with BP uh, the other crisis in America is unemployment nine ten percent uh, in UK it's probably about similar but it's got to change. And I don't see an end. I don't see an answer. Uh, from the, uh, the administration currently says the stimulus money has been spent and we still have the high unemployment. Well, where is the money going to come from? New technologies. Nobody's trained in them. Uh, we have a really severe problem. We're all going to have to learn to downsize slightly, whether it means a bicycle or uh, some kind of battery operated car but we got to do it and fast we can't burn up the earth's resources if you remember at one time 50,000 years ago mankind used wood and they almost cleared all the forests in England and Europe they had to come to America to find wood and then when they ran out of wood they had to use coal they dug coal until it was almost gone it was just a derivative of trees that laid in the earth for a number of years. And then, of course, they ran out of that, so they went to even a higher carbon base, which was oil, which is a product of pressures of the earth and then trees and the pressing of the carbon into an oil, petroleum, and methane gas. So we're, we're taking a planet and we're shrinking it by taking the life force out of it. That's, that's upsetting. I'll see it all when I'm up above flying in galactic spaceship 
when White Knight 2 takes me up, I'm so excited to get away from here. Maybe from above I can see down to what's really happening here on this planet. And uh, the other big issues are, I don't know, there is not a lot of issues other than I would like my brother to send me a ticket, Bubba Branson, to fly with him to Mars. What would a brother do? What can a brother do? A fellow Englishman. My family's all from England. I'm stuck here in Branson, Missouri. But please get me out. This is Bubba Branson. I'm asking you. Richard, get me out and up in space. There I can help with some decision making. I look forward to a ticket. I'll give you the address on my website. Thank you. And it's been good, lovely talking to you all. And uh, right on, Virgin. And uh, about this thing with the planes and stopping and getting held over four hours with no water for the passengers and no air conditioning. That's not Virgin's fault, my brother says. That's customs, the U.S. customs. They need to learn to be flexible when emergency landings, international flights land that they have to respond in a certain given time just out of human dignity, if nothing else. You can't sit with no water and no air conditioning in the summertime, four hours. It's just ridiculous. So hopefully they'll address that issue. And I also want to say, let's stop that American Airline, British Airline merger too. Otherwise I'm gonna to have to go merge with somebody uh, and uh, Virgin is a brand of its own. We don't especially want to, we don't want to merge a bunch of conglomerates until people only have one or two tickets to pick from. We like open market. Anyway, that's just words from Bubba Branson and commentary on my brother Richard Branson, Sir Richard Branson. And uh, say hello to all my friends, to the Queen of England, Sir Richard Branson, I've always got a new idea in mind. Thank you, and I'll see you in space. I'm Richard Branson. I go always up to something, you know that. Bye.